Well, from Delhi, let's now shift our focus to Maharashtra. My colleague Saurabh Gupta is tracking all the details of the story from Maharashtra. 51,751 cases, Saurabh. It is a drop from the previous 24 hours high. At the same time, a lockdown is imminent. What more information do we have of any kind of a timeline in place right now? Well, you know, uh, what we are expecting is that the government will have a cabinet meeting and uh, around the 15th, whatever new restrictions come into place is likely to come in. But there's no official announcement. What the government is also asking people to do is not to uh, believe in rumors. And the railways in an exclusive interview yesterday also uh, did tell us that, you know, people shouldn't throng railway stations even if they want to leave the city during the period of the lockdown. There are tickets available, trains are going to be functional. All you need to do is buy a confirmed ticket. The railways are also increasing the number of trains to places in UP and Bihar, given that majority of the crowd that wants to leave are headed to these destinations. So uh, they're saying that just come with a confirmed ticket and you will board a train and go. There's no unreserved travel allowed now, so there's no question of you boarding a train without a confirmed ticket. And that's something that perhaps is the message that the railways wants to send out, as there are, of course, people who are, uh, you know, trying to leave, fearing an impending lockdown in Mumbai. And a lockdown is more or less essential now. The government says that it is the last resort, but it has to do something to break the chain, to stop the spread, because medical facilities are overwhelmed and they are running out. So obviously, the state government is also doing, uh, uh, you know, a lot of stuff, especially in Mumbai to increase the number of beds available in uh, the city. And that's something that the, uh, you know, the BMC has also done by increasing the number of, uh, you know, the number of beds by uh, enlisting certain five-star hotels to try and, uh, try and, you know, sort of increase the number of beds. That's something that they want to do. In fact, the BMC in a message does say uh, that, you know, all the measures that are being taken to sort of increase the number of beds in the city uh, amongst them of course after enlisting uh, you know uh, certain five star hotels they will also uh, you know they're also sort of uh, uh, doing uh, other things like increasing jumbo covid centers in the city and that is something that the mcgm says has added 325 additional icu beds in various hospitals uh, and they will operate operationalize 1100 dedicated covid hospitals and dedicated covid uh, health centers, uh, including 125 ICUs in the next seven days. Besides, uh, the government has also decided to field three more, build three more jumbo field hospitals in five to six weeks to cater to the uh, spread of COVID-19. And, you know, one thing that one needs to keep in mind when talking about Mumbai is isolation is very difficult here as compared to other cities where people live in larger homes, people have, uh, you know, uh, sort of, uh, you know, Right. bigger spaces in mumbai space is a huge constraint yes so everyone lives in small homes cramped situations so that's something that is a huge challenge for a city like mumbai all right well